What's up everybody, The Bad Batch continued its final season this week with a fun cameo from a familiar face in the show. There will of course be spoilers here in my breakdown, so with that being said, let's get into the episode. Episode 8 opened up with the crew back on Pabu after narrowly escaping the Empire as Omega's being really hard on herself for the troops that died last episode or, you know, the last two episodes because the Empire was after her, but what she doesn't know is they were after the the the, the stealth trooper and then they found her. Anyway, Fee makes her return as she contacts the team with leads on the M Count bounty the Empire has been out for, and that's going to lead them to the familiar face I mentioned, Fennec Shand. So, back on their toes with the Empire after Omega, Hunter decides only he and Wrecker will go to meet with Fennec, and they do, finding her in a really cool bar, if you ask me, where they negotiate a deal where they'll work for her to pay for their information. Wrecker isn't too happy about it, but Hunter knows they have no other choice and they find out they're going after a hunter who works for the Haxian Brood, which was a great little nod to the Jedi uh, Fallen Order and Survivor video games. But anyway, back on Pabu, Omega is trying to help Crosshair heal his hand, and she suggests that it may be more mental than physical because of the torture he endured on Tantus. The show continues to just tease and tease and tease Omega's Force sensitivity as she meditates with him to heal his mind. I've been convinced for a while now that she is force sensitive, but the teases this season have just doubled and tripled my confidence that she's a force sensitive clone. As for Hunter and Wrecker, they're tracking down their target with Fennec and run into a minefield in the river that they have to disarm to keep the element of surprise according to Fennec. While they're down there in the water though, some of the gators in this water attack and we get a really cool sequence with Wrecker wrestling some gators, jumping on some heads to save Hunter, and so much more. It was awesome. Then, they find the target, and we get another great sequence with him fighting Hunter and Wrecker, then making a run for it, only to walk into Fennec's trap, which leads to him getting stunned by all three of them. With the job complete, Fennec drops the boys off and promises to get their information. She tells them she doesn't have it now, but will get it and leaves almost immediately contacting someone we don't see and can't understand due to their muffled voice and I'm making what I think is a pretty safe assumption here guessing that she contacted Ventress and she's either been hunting Jedi for the Empire or been keeping track of the Jedi they're hunting something like that but I'd say that was a good no no honestly that was a great episode I loved it the action sequences were amazing Fennec's involvement was cool not just being a glup shittle but being a true asset and a of value to the story and to the team after starting off an adversary was a pretty cool idea to me. Then, obviously, that cliffhanger of who did she call me thinking it's Ventress, I absolutely loved it. And so that'll do it for my breakdown of the 8th episode from the final season of The Bad Batch. Another strong episode in what's shaping up to be, honestly, my favorite season yet. But let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below and make sure you have a great day.